up YouTube. Uh, this is my short little review here of the Dekine Concourse Double Ski Bag. The bag that I got is a 200 centimeter uh, length bag and the color is black. I ordered mine on Amazon. I ordered it through Prime so I got it in about two days. Uh, you can see here's a little uh, info on the uh, on the bag here. Gives you a little brochure here thing kind of keep track of everything if you want to look up the features but I'm just gonna get right to the bag this is a double ski bag it holds two pairs of skis you know some people will actually they'll lay the skis down they'll lay the ski down you know flat like this I've actually tipped them up on their sides um, I have used uh, I don't know exactly what these called they're not, I don't know if they're hella straps but I just use these quick little velcro straps um, at the uh, the contact points on the ski this is a uh, double rocker ski so I just put the straps here in order to keep the skis together but the bag has black straps that have uh, clasp on them so you can you can load the skis up um, uh, on their side here you throw them in these straps here you buckle them cinch them down these skis are really not going anywhere um, my atomic automatics right here these are 193 lengths big powder skis they totally fit fine they've got definitely got a bunch of like head space here in the uh, in the bag so not an issue there at all I've got a second pair of skis uh, these are a lawn amphibio 88 XTIs I think they're like the one, 184 uh, centimeter length um, and they fit okay in here uh, what I did was is I had to kind of space the bindings uh, so that the the back binding was in between uh, the bindings on my uh, on my atomics over here otherwise if you put these two skis uh, directly next to each other the bindings will hit right so you have to have some little bit of separation between the two uh, super thick material here it's super durable it's got this nice the kind ripstop type of material. I don't have to worry about it at all. Um, you got the center pad that's in here and it flips. It flips closed. I loaded a pair of poles in here. You've got Velcro straps here and here. And then I, I flip the poles end to end so that they don't, they don't really slide out. Um, skis are really not going anywhere so I don't have to worry about that. You could fit another pair of poles down here. Um, if you want to, what you can do is, I don't know if you can see this or not, but you got Velcro straps and clasp down here. So actually, this entire piece, this top folding piece right here, this will, it can actually flip if you want to install it so that these Velcro straps are facing down. You've got three big interior pockets here and here and here. Um, I'm going to unzip this guy real quick. Okay, so as you can see here, the pa the 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 uh, the pocket stops right here, so it's not like you can unzip all three of these pockets here and then they all connect. That's not the case. These are like separate compartments right here. The bag opens up completely, right? And then it folds closed completely like this. And you've got an exterior pocket right here, okay? And well, look at that. It's got access into uh, into the inner pocket, I guess. So anything that's stashed, it looks like on the inside of this pocket, you can, you can access it from the outside. So that's kind of cool. Did not know that. Uh, you've got a carry strap here. The strap is not adjustable, but then you've got these clasps that are right here on the sides. So after you zip the bag closed, you can you can basically clip this guy to here like that, and it has an adjustment uh, down here. I may have lost it, but there's a strap that you can use in order to right here, right in order to adjust the length um, if you're not running with two skis, right? So you've got these clasps right here. And then, okay, you got a nice thick carrying handle right here. I'm going to zip the bag closed real quick. Okay, it's marked the kind 200 centimeters, so you always know the size of the bag. In case you forget, you got a big carrying strap here. 
not as durable as the handles that are on the the uh, top and bottom or the edge of the bag and then you've got a velcro strap here in case you want to put these two straps in one you have a carrying handle see right here got a name tag you can fill out so don't lose your stuff at the airport um, and then you've got these reinforcement brackets right here so you can actually roll the bag on the ground and you have one caster and two you roll around and then you actually also have a bottom <coughs> have a bottom strap as well no pockets on the bottom over here really durable bag um, kind of pricey they could dropped around uh, 220 bucks I think they retail for 225 you can probably get them for cheaper on sale somewhere this is black I really like the black it's got a little bit of a kind of a uh, these square pattern going on here so it's kind of subtle but it's a really nice bag really easy to load skis in it opens up all the way highly recommend it um, hopefully it does well on the trip and it survives the, uh, <laughs> the cargo compartment on the airplane. Um, so that's pretty much, that concludes my review. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.